Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey y'all, hope y'all are doing good. So I have been running around all day and I'm like super tired. It's been a long day. We've been just kind of rearranging stuff here in the house and you know, switching things up, switching things around. So anyhow, um, so as I was coming home, I got an alert that the diddler is once again trending and that it's getting even more serious, the case against him. So I wanted to jump on camera really quick and just quickly talk about it. So if y'all don't know, this is what's being reported. They're saying Diddy is facing possible indictments as federal agents are reportedly preparing to bring us to bring his sexual assault accusers before a grand jury. Okay, this is a big deal. Um, they're saying that CNN is reporting that possible witnesses have been notified by investigators and they could be brought in to testify in front of a federal grand jury in New York City. Additionally, CNN says the feds have obtained a video showing a male sex worker who claims he was victimized by Diddy inside a residence. The sex worker has been interviewed by the feds, but it's unclear if he will be put before the grand jury. TMZ has confirmed a grand jury has been convened in the case and evidence will be presented along with testimony from witnesses. So this is a big deal. You know, that means for a lot of these people saying, oh, they didn't find anything. They were just harassing him. You know, nothing ever came of the charges. Like I said, from day one, the feds do not pounce until all T's and all I's are dotted. And obviously there was something there for a federal judge to issue a search warrant to not one but three of Diddy's home. They didn't go there to bring him a piece of cheesecake, okay, from Junior's, no pun intended. They went there to go find evidence of all the deviant stuff that he's been accused of, and it looks like they may have hit the jackpot. One, they were able to find the video of Cassie getting beat in the hotel room, and now they found a video of a sex worker. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. We're going to go ahead and watch it together. What are you learning about the evidence that investigators could be reviewing here? So as I mentioned, those federal raids that were conducted on his homes back in March, obviously a lot of people wondering what was seized. Well, we are learning now that federal investigators are in possession of video footage that was taken inside of Combs's residence. We hear that these investigators have been contacting individuals that they have seen on this footage. One person, in addition to the accusers who have filed these civil suits, is a male sex worker. That is what a source tells me, and that they have been brought in for questioning through these federal investigators. Now, when the raids first happened, we had a law enforcement source tell us at CNN that the investigation was largely based in sex trafficking, which is what HS uh, specializes in. Now we are hearing that that scope has been widened and that investigators are really looking into all of these claims put forth in these civil lawsuits. That would include not just sex trafficking, but also money laundering and illegal drugs. I have a source who tells me, quote, this is much bigger than just these lawsuits. All right. So y'all just heard her that they have expanded this investigation into P. Diddy, that this is bigger than just folks filing lawsuits on him to supposedly get money, okay? There was so much tea spilled in those lawsuits that they have to now look at it criminally. Little Rod was talking about, you know, young Miami and her cousin out here being drug mules and selling Tucci, whatever the hell that shit's called. Um, you know, they were moving drugs. And you also had the 25-year-old drug dealer. Remember, the little white boy, he was arrested in pop the day that the raid went on. He's 25 years old. Um, he was a college student. He played basketball. You mean to tell me that this young man is all of a sudden free with no consequences? He was caught with drugs on him. You cannot tell me that he's not singing like a canary to get a sweet deal. Rap mogul Diddy's alleged drug mule is avoiding jail time. Brendan Paul accepting a plea deal in his felony drug case. As part of the deal, Paul must enter a six-month substance abuse program. If that is completed, the charges against him will be dismissed. 
Paul was arrested back in March after officers found cocaine and marijuana candy in his luggage while he was getting ready to board a flight to Miami Opelaka Executive Airport. During Paul's arrest, federal agents also raided the music moguls Miami Beach and Los Angeles properties in an ongoing sex trafficking probe. I'm sure he's telling where all the damn 2C pink pills are buried, okay? You know, a lot of people are going to end up turning on Diddy and singing like canaries just like people did with R. Kelly. So I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. I also believe because Diddy filmed a lot of things. I mean, this was stated in my deep dive that he even told people that he had every inch of his home filmed. Of course, he was probably filming these freak offs. And I'm sure that he was filming a lot of people who went to his house to go have sex. And they may not have known that they were being filmed, but I'm sure he has videotapes of them. Um, let's not forget, Hugh Hefner used to do the same deviant shit. He used to film anybody who came into his home, people who had sex in his home. He kept VHSs of everybody. This is T.D. Jakes and Mr. Freakoff. Those closest to the televangelist warned him about being associated with Mr. Freakoff, but he did not listen. Some of the men who claim to have stories about his private life have given him the name General High Booty. So, Mr. Freakoff is Diddy, General High Booty is T.D. Jakes. I'm sure you can do the math on how that got there, that nickname. So this is nothing new. Um, so it, it's going to be very interesting to see like how all this ends up playing out, but there's going to be charges. He's looking at some serious stuff, especially, you know, the fact that Homeland Security and the feds are involved. And now you're talking about possibly the DEA, because, again, like I've been saying for years, a lot of these celebrities are not just making money off of regular normal brand deals and, you know, especially not off of music. You know, for a long time, a lot of these celebrities have been low-key moving weight. And they have the perfect alibi to do it because a lot of times they're on tour, they're going cross-country, they're flying in private jets and things like that. We saw what happened to Juice World. You know, Juice World was caught with pounds and pounds of marijuana. That was not for personal use. Him and his entourage were clearly selling the marijuana. And since his death, we haven't heard anything about those pounds of marijuana that were found. You know, other rappers have been caught, you know, moving methamphetamines on their tour buses and things like that. So, again, I think the rabbit hole with this situation with Diddy goes deep. Now, let me say this about the male sex worker, okay? I believe what we're going to find out from this male sex worker that was victimized is we're going to find out what we, a lot of us already know, is that Diddy is a bisexual man. I'm going to say this. I was told by somebody that the reason why in the lawsuit, Cassie basically talked about her in the freak offs with Diddy, the reason why they more or less framed it that he was mainly watching and they didn't go as deep as they could have went as far as his participation. Because if you want me to believe that he was sitting there just, you know, simply jerking off and watching some BBC ram his girl, I have a bridge to sell you. He was clearly engaging. He was having sexual activities with these men. But the reason why that wasn't put into the public lawsuit, a lot of that stuff was redacted because they did not want to make it about Diddy's sexuality. Because the first thing people would be saying is that, oh, she's outing him. You know, she's telling all his business. They didn't want to make his sexuality the highlight. They wanted it to be about the crimes that he committed against her. And even if you watch the bootleg TMZ Tubi Diddy documentary, they put one on Tubi. Aubrey O'Day said the same thing, that the law doesn't care about your sexuality. They care about what you've done to harm other people. So I thought that was very interesting that she said that because I know that I was told that there was a lot more in that lawsuit and that they wanted all this stuff pertaining to his sexuality redacted and removed because they didn't want that to be the salacious part that went viral. They didn't want anybody focusing on his sexuality. They wanted people focusing on the real issue, which is the fact that he was sex trafficking and abusing this woman for years. So I think now that they found the male sex worker, oh, we're gonna get some tea, okay? There's gonna be all types of information coming out about what he did to that man sexually. And you're really gonna find out, you know what I'm saying? 
the sexuality that he's been fighting and hiding all these years. I mean, anybody with eyes can tell that man swings whichever damn way. I remember when I saw this picture years ago, this told me everything I needed to know about Diddy, okay? What grown man sits there with some Speedos on with his legs gapped open like a female ready to take it up the damn wazoo? And then what's up with the mystery man in the background? Now that I look at it, that man low-key looks like Stevie J, allegedly. You know, so... If you didn't know that Diddy swung whichever which way, this picture should have answered all those questions for you way back then, okay? So it's going to be very interesting to see what this sex worker has to say, especially now that a grand jury is being convened and brought together to, you know, basically go over the evidence. Um, so now in other news, I also want to speak about Dame Dash. Dame Dash is finally speaking about the Diddy situation. He's one of the few top guys in the industry who's been around, who came up with Diddy and Jay-Z and all them, who's speaking about the allegations and the fact that Diddy put hands on Cassie. So we're going to go ahead and listen to what Dame Dash had to say right now. I got daughters. Yeah. So, you know, that was something I would just see happening to my daughter. You know, Puff, he's dead. You know what I'm saying? And again, I go through the time or I try to figure out how not to have to go through the time. But I don't think I could handle watching another man or a man or any man touching or doing any kind of violence to I got daughters. Yeah, facts. And, you know, when I saw the apology, um, what I wondered is he has daughters. So I'm like, well, if I were to ask him a question, it would be, what would you do if you saw a dude do that to your daughters? What should that person's punishment be? Because that's what yours should be. Yeah. Now, where the, it's problematic in a big way, the apology, because just logically, he had already denied all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he had already said that, you know, he venomously wasn't going to say that he ever did any of those things and it didn't happen. And now because it came out, um, he's saying sorry. But it's like now it's hard to believe anything else that he says. And it's hard not to believe anything that Cassie is accusing or alleging in the lawsuit. Thanks. And, you know, when I saw the apology, because, you know, I think I wouldn't have, I couldn't fathom ever having that kind of aggression toward a woman. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought if, if he should have said sorry the next day before it came out. Not because it came out, and then maybe it could have been looked at a little more genuine. Now, when I see a dude do that to a girl, I think that they must have got abused. And I feel that there must be some real trauma that happened in his life. Because in order for that to be normal to him, to me, it means he must have seen that in his life as a young man or it was done to him. All right, so y'all just heard what Dame Dash had to say, and I agree with them. You know, it's it's... It's true, and I'm glad that Dame Dash is speaking out and saying something because that's what I get tired of with some of these men. It's, you know, my daughter, my daughter, my mom, my mom, but then they have no problem abusing and mistreating somebody else's daughter, somebody else's mother, somebody else's sister, you know? And again, if this was to happen to Diddy's twins or Chance, he'd probably be out somewhere trying to blow up somebody's car. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put hands on them and do all types of deviant shit, you know, to get revenge on behalf of his daughters. But he had no problem doing the same thing to Cassie and others. So I'm glad that somebody around his age, somebody in the industry is speaking out. You know, again, a lot of these guys in the industry have done and mistreated women. And I'm not just saying physical abuse and things like that, but, you know, mental abuse, the cheating, you know, having kids on these women by other women. So a lot of them are just not stand up guys morally. But I'm glad somebody of status is saying something about Diddy. It's very interesting that Jay-Z is very quiet. I don't think I honestly don't think Jay-Z is going to say anything. I think he's just, you know, trying to <laughs> back into a corner. He don't want no parts. He don't want his skeleton spilling out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Jay-Z has been very, very quiet. I know everybody keeps saying, what does Jay have to say about this? Not a damn thing. He's about to keep minding the business that pays him, okay? 
So again, this entire situation is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But I love to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do y'all feel about this situation? How do you guys feel about the news that's coming out about the male sex worker getting ready to testify and basically tell the police and the feds what happened to him while he was around Diddy? And then how do you guys feel about what Dame Dash had to say as well? Do you guys agree with him that as a father, you'd want the same thing done if somebody, you know, did that to your daughter? Or do you feel like, you know, Dame Dash is in no moral position to judge? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show.